If you don't know how to choose OBD2 scanner, this video will help you by understanding different scanner types and I will also give you a bunch of tips on buying your first scanner. So as you can see I have here around 20 different OBD2 scanners and all of them I would say are in that DIY price range, so from $15 to $500. By the way, on this table I have one OBD scanner hiding that can actually do everything that the rest of them can do and it isn't the most expensive one. And hint, it is not the biggest one. But about that scanner later, right now we need to dive into the first type. Also in description there is link to best of to scanners article on my website and for each of different type I will mention there are best picks. So if you don't want to wait, just go to the article and you can see those best picks right now. This is engine code reader, really the simplest way you can read your engine codes and erase check engine light. What the code reader like this does is connect to your engine control module, you can read codes instantly and if you have check engine light by erasing codes you will also get rid of your check engine warning. These little tools can also read the live data parameters from your engine, so oxygen sensor data, fuel trims, intake air temperature data like that and they can also check status of your readiness monitors which basically tells you if your car will pass state emission inspection or not. They are also very simple to use, you just plug them in, there is no battery, you don't have to pay any subscription and you don't need any internet connection, so very easy to use and they also last you a very long time. I mean code readers like this can easily last you 10 years. Now what code reader cannot do is access different modules in your car, so if you have problem in your ABS, airbag system or any other system, you won't be able to diagnose it with code reader. Also code reader cannot do any of advanced functionality like bidirectional testing, unlocking new features for your car or service procedures like DPF regeneration. Before we move to another type, if you find any of this stuff I am saying confusing, you probably need to watch the introduction to OBD2 for beginners, I will link it up here and every of these scanner functions is explained there. The multi-system scanner is very similar to code reader, but there is one main difference. The multi-system scanner will let you access different control modules, so for example transmission, airbag or ABS. Now when you are inside those modules, it looks like basic engine code reader. You can read live data parameters, read faults, clear faults and do all that for also other modules outside of the engine. But keep in mind that this still won't access every of control modules you have in your car. Multi-system scanners also mostly doesn't have bidirectional function and also no coding or service procedures. If you want all of that, you will have to go with better version of this and that is Professional scan tool. Already you can see this is list of service procedures. So with scan tool like this I am able to perform airbag resets, code new battery on newer vehicles, get rid of my airbag light, force DPF regeneration. If you want to work on modern vehicles you will absolutely need service procedures. Other than that, this scan tool will let me work with every control module that I have in my car. So not only engine like code reader, not only few systems like multi-system scanners, with this I can scan all of my control modules. And in every control module I can read codes, clear codes, read live data parameters, perform bidirectional tests for different components in that system and also if the scan tool supports it I can unlock new features by ECU coding. Since the scan tool is made directly for vehicle diagnosing I have here a bunch of extra features that can help me. For example I can use camera, I have built-in flashlight, I have this diagnostic library that will help trouble codes, TSBs, find DLC location so where is my OBD port and also a bunch of other stuff. Next type are the Bluetooth scanners, very popular in the DIY mechanic space since they can give you a lot of functionality for very little money. For example this VPIC cost only $15 and you can use it with literally hundreds of different OBD2 apps. Functionality of these Bluetooth scanners is similar to engine code reader but with certain apps you can have even advanced functionality. For example with this VPIC I can use car scanner app that let me access all control modules for fault codes. So when I do scan for faults, it will scan all the codes, even from the radio, transmission, ABS and other systems. Code reader can scan only engine. The OBD2 apps also offer some extra functionality like for example acceleration tests, data logging or even watching your engine parameters in the gauges on the radio. Now if you are curious about that, I also have separate video explaining the VPIC plus car scanner app and everything you can do, it will be linked up here. 
The next and last type I want to mention is the laptop scanner and in my opinion the laptop scanner is best to use for specific brand software. For example this cable is for Toyota Lexus diagnostic software Techstream and for only like $50, I mean on AliExpress it costs even less around $25, you can get some functionality of original Toyota diagnostic software. Now of course for the money you pay you won't get original version but there is this Techstream that is very similar to OEM. And even though you won't be able to do everything the dealership can, you will gain a lot of their functionality with this really cheap scanner. Also this diagnostic box is another example, also costs around $50, you can use it on every car. It will let you access multiple modules for live data, read and clear codes, so that is similar to this multi-system scanner. However, this will also let me do bidirectional testing and even some service procedures like DP regeneration, programming new keys and others. Also in the beginning of video I said I will show you my top favorite scanner and it is Bluetooth one, but it is not this VPIC. It is this one, ThinkDiac 2. You connect this box to your car and then you connect via Bluetooth with ThinkDiac app. Now ThinkDiac 2, it has practically functionality of professional OBD scanners. For example, you can access every control module, read live data, read codes, clear codes. You can do service procedures. These have up to 15 service procedures. That top down has only 8 of them and it can also do ECU coding, so unlocking hidden features for your car. Also, the ThinkDiac has MA amazing vehicle coverage and if you want to know more about it I also have separate review it will be linked up here. Okay so that were the five main types of OBD scanners. If you are still unsure about which to get I mean just go with the basics. Either buy this VPIC and start with free OBD apps for your smartphone or get the Ansel AD310. Both of them are very simple to use. They both cost around 20-25 dollars. So you can try diagnosing few issues and you will see. If you want to move to something more advanced you can but at least you won't be mad that you spent too much money. I also made a video talking about the things you should know before buying your first OBD2 scanner that is right here.